Welcome to Wicked Shizuku's Reviews, bringing you a southern perspective on books, movies, music, and much, much more. <laughs> Stick around for a while, you just might hear something wicked. Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to Wicked Suzuki's Reviews, episode 75, and it is another Friday read, and we will be continuing with Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors. So, I shall go on over to our Friday screen. All right, and we will be continuing with Act 4, Scene 3. And it's still in a public place. Enter Antipholus of Syracuse. Antipholus of Syracuse. There's not a man I meet but doth salute me, as if I were the well-acquainted friend, and every one doth call me by my name, some tender money to me, some invite me, some others give me thanks for kindnesses, some offer me commodities to buy. Even now, a tailor called me in his shop and showed me silks that he had bought for me, and therewithal took measure of my body. Sure, these are but imaginary wiles, and Lapland sorcerers inhabit here. Enter Dromeo of Syracuse. Dromeo of Syracuse. Master, here's the gold you sent me for. What have you got? The picture of old Adam, new apparelled. Antipholus of Syracuse. What gold is this? What Adam dost thou mean? Dromeo of Syracuse. Not that Adam that kept the paradise, but that Adam that keeps the prison. He that goes in calfskin that was killed for the prodigal. He that came behind you, sir, like an evil angel, and bids you to forsake your liberty. Antipholus of Syracuse, I understand thee not. Dromeo of Syracuse, no? Why, tis plain case. He that went like a base veal in a case of leather. The man, sir, that when gentlemen are tired gives them a fob and rests them he sir that takes pity on decayed men and gives them suits of durance he that sets up his rest to do more exploits with his mace than a morris pike antipholus of syracuse what thou meanest an officer dromeo of syracuse i sir the sergeant of the band, he that brings any man to answer it, that breaks his hand, band, one that thinks a man always going to bed, and says, God, give you good rest. Antipholus of Syracuse, well, sir, there rest in your foolery. Is there any ship puts forth tonight? May we be gone. Dromeo of Syracuse, why, sir, I brought you word an hour since that the bark expedition put forth tonight, and then you were hindered by the sergeant to tarry for the hoy. Delay, here are the angels that sent for to deliver you, Antipholus of Syracuse. The fellow is distract, and so am I. And here we wander in illusions. Some blessed power deliver us from hence. Enter a courtesan. Courtesan. Well met, well met, Mr. Antipholus. I see, sir. You have found the goldsmith now. 
Is that the chain you promised me today? Antiphilus of Sy Syracuse. Satan, avoid, I charge thee, tempt me not. Jeremy of Syracuse. Master, is this Mistress Satan? Antiphilus of Syracuse. It is the devil. Jeremy of Syracuse. Nay, she is worse. She is the devil's dame. And here she comes in the habit of a light wench. And thereof comes that the wenches say, God damn me. That's such a... That's as much as to say, God make me a light wench. It is written, they appear to men like angels of light. Light is an effect of fire, and fire will burn. Ergo, light wenches will burn. Come not near me. Come not near her. Courtesan, your man and you are marvelous, merry sir. Will you go with me? We'll mend our dinner here. Dromeo of Syracuse, Master, if you do, expect spoon meat, or bespeak a long spoon. Antiphilus of Syracuse, why, Dromeo? Dromeo of Syracuse, Mary, he must have a long spoon that must eat with the devil. Antiphilus of Syracuse, avoid then, fiend. What tellest thou me of supping? Thou art, as you are all, a sorceress. I conjure thee to leave me and be gone. Courtesan, give me the ring of mine you had at dinner, or for my diamond, the chain you promised, and I'll be gone, sir, and not trouble you. Dromeo of Syracuse. Some devils ask but the paring of one's nail. A rush, a hair, a drop of blood, a pin, a nut, a cherry stone, but she, more covetous, would have a chain. Master, be wise, and if you give it her, the devil will shake her chain and fright us with it. Courtesan, I pray you, sir, my ring, or else the chain. I hope you do not mean to cheat me so, Antipholus of Syracuse. Avant, thou witch. Come, Dromeo, let us go. Dromeo of Syracuse, fly pride, says the pe peacock, mistress that you know. Exalt, Antiphilus of Syracuse, and Dromeo of Syracuse. Courtesan. Now, out of doubt, Antiphilus is mad, else he could have never so demeaned himself. A ring he hath of mine worth forty ducats, and for the same he promised me a chain. Both one, the other he denies me now. The reason that I gather he is mad. Besides, this present instance of his rage is a mad tale he told today at dinner of his own doors being shut against his entrance be like his wife acquainted with his fits on purpose shut the doors against his way. My way is now to hie home to his house and tell his wife that, being lunatic, he rushed into my house and took perforce my ring away this course i fittest choose for forty ducats is too much to lose exit and that was the end of scene three of act four of the comedy of errors so i hope you enjoyed this episode and that um if you found it educational, if you found it inspiring, any of those things, would you uh, give me a like, subscribe, and share? And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good evening. Good night, everyone.